So for today, we're going to be looking at the Taken King sets for the Titans. If you guys know, we've already done the Hunter one. It's right here. You guys can check it out. But we've also already reviewed the armor and shown the shaders for it. Both of them are right here as well. Definitely check the videos out just because I think they're really, really good. And you guys will understand my gripes about the Taken King set. Not saying it's bad, but I just think it sh shaders really terribly. Specifically, why would you put a glow over all of the armor? I just think it's really unnecessary. But other than that, I think it looks really, really cool. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. I really do appreciate it because a lot of people that come to my channel or videos specifically are not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what I'm doing wrong in the videos or what you would like to see so that way I can get started on it. So other than that, let's get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the helmet and the mark, just like the hunter. This one, though, was more of a calculated decision just because as much as I like the helmet, um, I definitely think it needed help. So that's why I use the mark as well. For this one, you're going to notice a lot of a lot of hive themed, a lot of organic looks for the, for all of them, just because it kind of goes with it. It's the Taken King set. It's going to be hive themed, of course. And again, for the helmet, we're using the Taken King set. For the arms, War Newman's Fist, amazing with this set, especially when you combine it with the Pylos following plate. Looks fucking cool as shit. The problem with the Husk Crushers though, and I've said this multiple times when I look at this ornament, is the fact that you get all this cool bone for the Dune Marchers, like all this cool bone from the thigh to the fucking uh, calves, all that shit. And then when you get to the feet, it's just regular boots. And that's just, I think that's a crime. I definitely think that's a crime. And there's not, there's not an excuse anymore because they could have just given you a similar, similar looking boot that the Taken King boots have like it's it, it pisses me off that we're in the we're in the year of my Lord 2023 and we still have shit to deal with this like why I don't know bro I just don't know I'm probably gonna make a video of just all of the fucking armor that we have where it's super stylized and it's just a fucking boot at the bottom it's this like, like why bro who boo <laughs> why <laughs> Other than that, I think this set looks really, really cool. I think the only thing I would switch from this is the shader because unfortunately, this is probably just me being like, it's probably me bugging, but I can know, I can see the shader on the chest, on the helmet. Like I can notice the shader on the, on the helmet and it pisses me off. So I'd probably just switch out the glow or I would probably just switch out the shader for something else that doesn't have that glow because for me, everything looks silver everything looks gold and it looks cool and then when you get to the helmet it's like it looks silver and gold at the same time and it pisses me off as for the next set this is actually a set that i use for my Antaeus wards because i think it looks really really cool for the helmet we're going to be using the dragonfly regalia helm because um organic look kind of makes sense for the arms obviously the taking king gauntlets what we're using i think these look really really cool for the chest piece we're using the war newman's chest piece just because I think it looks really cool with it. And it also kind of looks like it's it's the same level as the gauntlets as well. So that's all the other reason why I'm using it. For the boots, I already said, and Teus words is what we're using. And then for the mark, Apilos following was what I chose. That being said, you could probably put another piece in there that's organic looking, and I think it would be fine. But I do think Apilos just looks way better with it. Uh, for the shader, Ultraplasmic is what I'm using for a few reasons. A. I like the chrome silver. I think that looks super cool. Silver more. But the other reason is because Ultra Plasmic has a really good blue that goes really well with the art color of the Antaeus words. Unfortunately, uh, Gauntlets of the Taken King look really terrible with it. There is a slight glow, a blue glow on the gauntlets and the like forearm armor. There is a slight glow. It's not that massive, but there is a small glow. My biggest gripe with it is the fact that the under armor, like the like the leather or the cloth, whatever it is, has a, like a really dark blue, which you don't see in any other piece for the ultra plasmic shaders. So that's kind of like why I'm like not that happy with it, which is why I'm thinking about just going back to the drawing board with it. But for now, it'll suffice, even though it pisses me off. For the next set, we're going to be using the chest piece. This one is I'm going to, I'm going for a bug look for this one and what better helmet to use than the Kepri's horn. I think the Kepri's horn is a good choice for this because again, I'm going for a bug look and then for the arms, Forian gauntlets was such a good choice because 
for me it, it's giving off like a very buggy look specifically for like the left pauldron has that light there but it's like the texture of the gauntlets that just look like 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 a carapace and for the chess piece they play to the taken kings where we're using the this one was an easy choice because it's again it's almost symmetrical to the arms which i think is really cool for the boots descending echo is what i'm using because honestly the pointy bits at the at the feet just kind of remind me of bugs which is why i'm using it and then the seasonal ornament mark is what we're using just because i felt i felt like that would be a good choice for it uh just because the chest piece has cloth in there i wanted to add a little bit more cloth in there so i actually like this one quite a bit midnight smith is what we're using because again it turns off the glow of the chest piece but it also does have a red glow for every other set so, or every other piece i should say so the helmet has red glows even though you might not notice it because the helmet is red and the left side left pauldron has that light that has red you also might not notice it because it's red but it does have a little slight glow so let me know what you guys think about this one this one i want to say is my favorite but if i'm being quite honest i think the next one is like hands down my favorite so last but not least, we're going to be looking at the boots. And for this one, I decided to lean into that like overglow that the boots have and decided to go, OK, so now I want the, the glow to be from my boots all the way up to my chest piece and stop there. So that's kind of like the theme I'm going for this. So a pile of following helmet is what I'm using just to because it's a really good red to contrast with the red on the actual whole body. For the arms iron foreigner gauntlets what i'm using because i wanted to do something that's super super dark but i also wanted to have some horns in there because i'm extra um for the chest piece abyss inverted is what we're using for the for the heart of inmost light i think this was a great choice because the glow it's not a one-to-one -one glow and i will be the first one to tell you that but i do think it's really really cool that the glow goes all the way down to the boots the boots of the taken king i think it's called or strides of the taken king it might be called uh i think it's it looks really really cool and then for the mark this one was the hardest thing because i didn't want the mark to stop that glow i wanted there to be no mark there so that way it's like a continuous glow from from chest piece to boots and dreambane mark was the best choice i could find because it doesn't have something in the front it has something in the front like on the right side but nothing on like the left side so there, there is like nothing there to like to like disconnect the glows so this one was super extra i know erebos glance is also what we're using and i absolutely love this shader because i can do stuff like this and i think it looks really really cool so let me know what you guys think which one is your favorite let me know in the comments below i appreciate you guys coming up to this point i really really do because not a lot of people get up to this point so i don't know um if comment arable's glance at the bottom i'll know you got to this point so appreciate you be safe i'll see you guys later